Hi team, welcome to Cloud Summit in this Microsoft Fabric Master Program. In today's session, we will talk about how to copy multiple folders from SOAP layouts to the target layouts using the Fabric Python parameters. Because when you are copying a multiple folders or multiple tables, so we can't hard code them because you may have hundreds of folders. So you can't just uh, simply create a hundred different copy activities to copy the hundred tables or hundred folders, which is not the ideal scenario. So that's why what we will do is we will use a type and parameters using the same copy activity. We will try to copy all the folders. You may have hundreds or thousands of folders that you can able to copy. Let's quickly discuss how we can do that. So if you look at your source lake of storage, I'll create a one source lake of storage, one target lake of storage. So within the source lake of storage, I'll create an input one and input two folders. In the target lake of storage, I'll create an output one and output two folders. Now what I'll do, I want to copy the data, whatever is there in the input one, I want to copy into output one, whatever is there in the input two, whatever files are, uh, uh, yeah, whatever is there in the input two folder that I want to copy into the output two folder. Let's quickly move on to the lab. So first click on the data factory. Let me go to my workspace. I am already in the my workspace. Just click new. Create two lake of this. One is my soap. Okay. So you can say cloud funded SRT LH001. LH is nothing but a lake house. Okay. This is a SRT lake house 001. Okay. Similarly, I want to go, go back to the my workspace. I want to create a one more lake house. Click on the lake house. This lake house is called cloud funded TGT target LH001. This is the target lake house. So the one which we have created earlier is the source lake house. Now you can see, uh, now first I will switch on to the source lake house. In the source lake house, I will create a two folder. So the, so the input one and input two. Let me just create a input two. You can have hundreds of folders like this. Okay, now click on this. Let me, sorry, let me just upload some files here. Upload, upload file, browse it. You can just choose some of the files that you have here. Let me just go here. Let me just choose some files here. Okay. Multiple files I have uploaded into the input folder. You can see some files I have uploaded into input one. Let me upload some more files into the input two. Okay. Maybe from here, I'll be like copying these three into the input two. Okay, randomly you can copy. Now, if you go back to the input two, you can see there are some files, and the input one is you see there are some files. Now, what is our goal? Input one data should go to the output one, input two data should go to the output two. So go to the target layout. Here actually you no need to create the folders. Folders can be created dynamically. Okay, so let's see uh, how we can able to create the folders dynamically. I'm not creating now. Pipeline itself is going to create the output one and the output two folders. Let's see that. For that, now again, you can go to my workspace. Click here. Let's create a data pipeline. PL4 multi folder data ingestion. Okay. Just click create this pipeline. Now within this pipeline, what you can do quickly is you can add the copy data activity. Okay, just add the copy data activity. It is very simple. So source is what? Within the workspace, I have a lake house. I need to choose the source lake house. Okay, I also have the target lake house, but I am choosing the source lake house. Within that, I want to choose the files under file i want to uh, read all the files from the input one and input two so that's why wildcard file for the file name should be star the folder name should be dynamic that's why click on add dynamic content i want to create a parameters you can see you don't have any parameters here you can see right here plus click on this plus to create a pl param python parameter for source folder okay this is for the source folder type is string Save it. Okay. Once you create
created the parameter, want to create the parameter, you need to choose this parameter, then click OK. So this is my source pipeline parameter, which takes the source folder name and it passes to the source site dynamically. Come to the destination, same lake house, but uh, the lake house is target lake house. Okay, the type of data source is lake house, but I want to load the data into the target lake house. Here also, I want to load it into the folder. So the target folder should go as dynamic. So that's why I click add dynamic again. Here you create one more parameter because this we have used for the source folder. Now I want to create one more parameter. This is pipeline parameter for sync folder. Okay, it is the type string, click save. Okay, now once you have created, now click on sync folder. Save it. Okay, this is the parameter I selected. Now you can validate your pipeline. You can see there is no error. Okay. Now you can save this particular pipeline. Okay. Now you can start run. When you run it, it will ask the parameters ask you to pass the value. You can see this is the input one. I want to copy data from input one to output one. Output one is not there. It will create dynamic. You can see. click OK. So let's go to the target lake house under files if you see you don't have any anything let's refresh it will come very soon meantime we can go and look at our monitoring hub uh, to look at our copy actually whether it is succeeded or not so if you see run is succeeded it has copied the data now go to the target lake house and on, on, on the file you can just refresh it you should see the output one and under output one you can see the input one first you can just go to input one and you see cust cust three cust four same files you can able to see under output one cust cust three cust four same thing i want to repeat for the input two to output two so what you can do just run it here you need to pass input two to output two so we are here we are passing manually but in the going forward uh, going forward we will see in the future lab how we can fully automate this particular process okay now again the pipeline is running you can just click on this uh, open canvas you can come to the output tab you can see the pipeline is succeeded again go to target okay refresh this files folder you can see the output two. under output to six eight 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 is duplicate you can go to source folder in input what you have eight copy six correct so input one files we copy to the output one input two files we copy to the output two by using the pipeline parameters okay thank you for watching this particular video team i request all of you to subscribe my youtube channel and then